Hey Leos, it's Cynthia, Psychic and Astrologer. So this is going to be your yearly hor horoscope for 2024. Now, as you begin the year, um, Jupiter and Uranus are going to be in your career house. Now, having the significance of Jupiter in your career house could easily bring great opportunities, promotions, advancements. A date you definitely want to keep an eye out for will be April 20th. Another date you want to keep out, uh, keep an eye out for not because of Jupiter, but because of Mars, with Mars and Uranus, but that's going to be July 15th. So Jupiter will be in your career house until May, and then after May 26th, uh, Jupiter will be moving on into your 11th house of friendships, groups, and organizations. So when you have Jupiter in your career house, like I said, it could bring about opportunities, promotions, advancements, a business venture, side venture, and then when it moves into your 11th house, it could... Uh, bring opportunities of more money, side venture money, opportunities of starting to see sales, uh, bonuses, commissions from all the hard work from when Jupiter was in your career house. So keep an eye on that. But Jupiter in the 11th house is also very positive for social events and connections. Uh, maybe you put together an event or party or maybe you see an increase of events and parties. You'll also see an increase of fringe uh, friends, uh, groups, and organizations. You, um, If you're starting to find yourself more on social media, you'll see an increase of a social following. Uh, this social following could also be future clients and customers. So it's a, it's a very positive time of building connections, especially with others. Now, uh, Saturn and Neptune will be in your eighth house of joint resources, taxes, credit cards, and loans all year. Um, so this could easily make you budget and save but it could also make you be cautious with your credit. Um, but at the same time, it could possibly create a situation where you're racking up credit. So as much as maybe you wanna be cautious, this could also be a time because uh, maybe it's due to expenses, other financial obligations. So it's just something to be aware of. Now, Pluto will be entering your partnership house starting January 21st. We'll be there for about a good 14, 15 years. So Pluto in your seventh house, yes, could bring a significant partnership or relationship, an engagement, marriage. But on the negative side, it could also create a separation, breakup, or divorce. Now, collaborations could be also on a, on a professional level. So a partnership could also be in relation to um, a business. So it could easily be very positive on the long term. That could be very positive for uh, financial gains, uh, a business, growing a business. So it's it's something that I think could be very, very positive for you. Now, Mars will be entering your own sign and house starting November 3rd. We'll be there all the way till June 2025. The reason for that is because there will be a Mars retrograde starting December 6th through the end of February 2025. Now, Mars in your own sign You'll definitely see a lot of energy. Um, you'll have be attracting a lot of people your way. You'll be the center of attention. That'd be great for making a lot of first impressions, selling a product, uh, putting yourself out there to people, building those great connections with people. When it retrogrades, it may be a time to slow down, maybe just being cautious on what you put out there, but it's a great time to connect with others build new connections, meet new people. You'll do well in connecting and making that great impression to others. So when it comes to eclipses, um, you're gonna be having a full moon, a lunar eclipse in your third house of short trips, communication, siblings and neighbors on March 25th. Each eclipse lasts six months. So you may easily notice an increase of emails, text messages, phone calls, short trips, travel, um, the next few months. You'll also be having a new moon uh, solar eclipse um, on October 2nd. So pretty much majority of the year could easily see an increase of communication, text messages, emails, a lot more writing, texting, uh, communicating with others. You may also decide to take classes or courses that could help further your career. Maybe it's something relating with career. Like I said, travels, short trip travels could easily increase there for you. Now, 
that's going to actually be very positive and very beneficial. This could also relate to maybe in connection to meeting others. Um, so some dates that I did want to point out there for that would be February um, 22nd, May 3rd, and September 2nd. Now, you're going to be having a new moon solar eclipse in your ninth house on April 18th. And what's very positive about that is Mercury connects very well with that uh, solar eclipse. So it could bring about uh, communicating, connecting with others, travel, travel long distance, maybe others from afar come to visit you, maybe you're connecting with others. It could also relate to marketing, publishing, traveling, uh, going back to school, maybe entering college or university to further your career and um, to take on new studies. Um, if you do have any kind of legal issues to deal with, being that this is a new moon uh, eclipse, it could actually work out to your favor at the end. Now, we will be uh, then slowly moving into your eighth house on September uh, 17th when uh, you'll be having a full moon lunar eclipse um, starting September 17th, the next six months. You also have uh, Saturn and Neptune in your eighth house. So having all this going on, the eighth house rules, taxes, credit card, loans, child support, alimony, settlements, inheritance. This could actually be a time of having to deal with any of those issues, being at the full moon. Maybe you pay off some debts or bills. Maybe you incur some new debts or bills. Now, I will do say, though, is that during this eclipse, yes, Saturn and Neptune kind of restricts a little bit. Uranus actually is very, very positive during this eclipse. And Uranus, again, like I said, is in your career house. Now, it does square off with Jupiter, and Jupiter tends to like to be a little bit indulgent, uh, to just take chances. So there might be something going on during this time where you're maybe taking care of uh, a new venture, paying off some bills. Maybe this is a time where you're taking care of some financial obligations. As we get closer into that uh, eclipse, I will explain more in the monthly horoscopes uh, in 2024. But right now, just kind of have an idea of maybe what's kind of going to be coming up. That won't be until September 15th. Uh, September 17th of next year, but something maybe to keep an eye out for. So, and um, I did want to mention that there will be some positive career dates for you besides the April 20th and the July 15th date that I mentioned, because you're also going to be having uh, positive uh, career dates on uh, March 28th, April 13th, and November 7th. So there's definitely going to be a lot going on with that. But the big news for you is going to be relating with career, finances, um, opportunities of building more financial security and stability, um, opportunities that could bring you more money through side ventures or business ventures. So as we get into the, the new year 2024, keep an eye on my monthly horoscopes. I will be discussing a lot more about that as we get into the monthly horoscopes. So stay tuned.